Damn, son, where'd you find this? Right on time. Back by the beach. Still gonna bring the heat. Bring the heat. The heat. on KEXP. Yes, I'm 
Jungle live on KEXP. That was wonderful. Thank you so much for coming in today. Oh, thank you for having us. And quite a setup you've got. There are seven of you in total here today, which makes it so fun. But J and T, I heard that things just start with the two of you in studio together alone. Yeah. Well, initially uh, we just it was just an excuse for us to hang out. You know, we've been best friends since we were ten years old. Um, and I guess we just kind of sat down in January 2013 at a, a computer with a desk and, and started having fun. You've probably played together and made music in all kinds of different forms if you've been friends for so long. And it seems like uh, that you just sort of quietly put a Song of Jungle online not that long ago. Was that just, was there a plan to make a whole record or was that like, hey, we made this cool song, let's just put it out there and see what people think? Yeah. I mean, I suppose we put out Platoon um, in about May 2013. And it was just something we didn't really expect anything to happen from that. You know, you just put it on SoundCloud, you share your music. And I think Platoon was probably the first song where we thought, wow, this is a sound. We, we, we really enjoy making the sound. We could go on to make more things. And it, I suppose it gave us the confidence to go and write more tracks. And it kind of just all stemmed from there, really. I love the way you talk about the songs as a visual representation of actually a specific place, either real or imagined or the combination of both. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Um, yeah, I mean, part of the writing process is us kind of talking and, and coming up with scenarios and characters that are quite funny, things that make us laugh and things that, you know, spark our imagination. Um, you know, for example, the heat. For us, that's the beach. Um, it's a place. It, it might not necessar necessarily be what the song is about, but... It definitely sets the scene. It's like a film. It's the opening. It's the opening gambit. It's where it is. And once you have that, you can use that sort of place to inspire the sounds and and the smells and all these sort of extra extraordinary things. I love. I read an interview where you said that you'll be playing that song and you'll stop and say, "Imagine this place," and actually you'll still be playing the same notes, but it actually feels different, which is yeah, such an it's, interesting it's, it's, way to it's think just about, about it. energy and, and learning how to kind of explore the different part of your imagination and a different part of your kind of your creativity and learning how to kind of combine that together and, and create something that you've never really heard before. Well, speaking of the visual nature of your songs and your imagination, I imagine that extends over to your videos. Uh, they're quite captivating and they're surprisingly very simple. Um, there's a lot of power that just comes through in the simplicity. Can you talk about your idea behind them? Because they're very similar yet very different. Yeah, it's for us it's all about those characters and those characters were kind of in place, you know, as the songs were being written. Um, which, you know, it's about that emotion, it's about the simplicity and it's it's about the performer, you know, giving it everything they have and, and bringing a whole new meaning to the song. I think that the simplicity aspect of it was about presenting them and presenting their talents in, in the most authentic way without having to rely on you know editing and, and lights and all these extra special effects to, to make it work it was just about putting someone in a room with a camera it's almost a one-on-one -on -one sort of situation they're performing to you as, as, as the audience and there's just something pure and enjoyable about watching people dance 
Yeah, I was the easiest way to for a human being to react to music. So kind of why not why not use that and use the potential of that? And dancing on roller skates even that much better. Difficult, difficult to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the live band. You easily could represent these songs live, just the two of you behind computers, and that would be very powerful. And probably at your own personal expense or <laughs> lack of expense, you've decided to play with seven people and. Uh, Tell me about the decision behind that. It clearly looks like a lot of fun. It's yeah. Well, you just said it. It's, it's a load of fun, really. And you know, these are all our mates that we've kind of grown up with. And you know, being on the road is can be quite lonely. So you know, to have a big family with you, it's you kind of take take all your friends with you. So I think it was also a big challenge as well. I think you know, we, we wanted to we wanted to challenge how people perceive electronic music in a live environment. And so the best way to do that is to get get a big band together. Well, it's tons of fun, it sounds fantastic, and it's nearly impossible not to dance to this music. Tonight you're playing at the Showbox here in Seattle. Yes. So excited to have you in studio today. You got one more for us? Yeah, we do, yeah. It's Jungle, live on KEXP. It's Jungle Live on KEXP. That is so much fun. The new album is fabulous, also called Jungle. Thank you so much for coming well, in. Thank you for having us, Chase. A great time to be had at the show box tonight. You've got it tuned to KEXP Seattle.
Discover new music at listener-powered KEXP dot O-R-G. Damn, son, where'd you find this?